Hello, I'm Andrew and welcome back to FTL. We are going into the storm, the Federation base. Well, technically it's our base, but it's the Rebels have captured it or something. Or we're fighting over it, I don't know, but it's a hostile sector nonetheless. We are going to use a basic engine. I do not be able I do not I do not be able to. I cannot afford to use the fuel we've got. Prepare the jump drive. Socialize. Rock crew. Monitors the hits your ship took while traveling through this dangerous sector. My skills are limited, but I'll be able to fix some of this damage, giving the environmental sets and tools now to... Oh! Repair two hull points. That's very nice. A store. Great. I... It's no good to me. I've got two scrap. Oh, crap. Jam. Failed to jam. They've got a missile. They've got a swarm missile. They've got a laser. No teleporter. We're going to use a scythe beam. It's going to be one of those days. Okay, folks, this is not a drill. We need to defeat them as fast as possible because they will absolutely waste us with the anti-ship battery. So I'm hoping that we can dodge. Good. You can't do anything that, that swarm, can you? Oh, you can. Nice. ABS target lock. Okay. Fire the charges. Now, fire the normal. Now, scythe beam. I won't hit the shields first. I have to hit the shields first. Oh god, I didn't mean to decharge them. Ow. NG, go repair that. Come on, get everything charged. Alright, here we go. I would like eye on them. Follow up with a laser. Follow up with a scythe beam. Now keep firing that charge. We got this. Great. Just at the edge so we can get as many as possible as quickly as possible. Nice. Wait, what? It's not doing any damage. Oh, shields. Crap. All hands on deck. Shields need to be fixed. Um, They're offering me two fuel in the surrender. I, I have to take it. Return to your positions. Fire fan. Instead, go to here. Heal up. Ready to jump. ABS target locked. That means we need to leave. ASAP. So, a fueling station of sorts, but it's cheerily broadcasting a reasonable prices, spectrum, frequency, and languages. Dock the fueling platform. Uh, five fuel for five scrap? That's actually a really good offer. That's one scrap to one fuel. Normally fuel's worth like three. At least at a station. That's really good. Yeah, I'm not gonna knock it. 
Oh, hello. Near my battle before you have a chance to get out. Fighter moves into attack. Okay. Uh, they have a cloning bay. They don't have a teleporter. We are going to jam. We failed to jam. Okay. We failed to jam. Now it's time to rock and roll. I, I don't know. I'm making stuff as I go along, guys. Uh, do we want a heavy drone? They've got teleporter. Yes. It's not a teleport teleport. It's a bomb teleporter. That can still do a lot of damage to us. Great. You missed. Okay. Oh crap, the size went down just as I was about to use it. Well, keep it up, guys. We need that size on the line. Oh crap, really? Well, no side thrust. And there's a fire in here. Get in here now. Chipmunk, stay here and repair. Bomb. Bomb. Get out of that. Oh god, you went down. Man down. Man down. Well, NG, but still. Teleporting bomb, seriously, I hear him. Right. You need to heal up. Oh, this is going to be painful. Right. Get the charge up to full. Now. I was just repairing all over the place right now. It's mad. Right, get the shield down and I will hit it with a scythe. Just don't hit my weapons. Seriously, I've got a chance to use a size. And it went down again. Ah! This guy is annoying as hell. Who is my weapons person? Honestly, no one. Okay. You're my pilot, technically. Well, not my pilot, but my, my uh, engine dude. Actually, so little that that doesn't matter. Oh, God. Right. Honestly, I need flak. I need the fast firing. Get repairing that NG. One more charge in the ion, and we'll go. Right. Charge the ion. Fire it on their shields. One, two, three, four. Charge the flak. Fire it on their shields. And then... Laser. And then just keep going. We are pretty badly damaged. Just keep it up. We can do this. I'm going to move to their weapon systems. Oh god, that miss is going to hurt, so we need to have lasers up there now. Really? Stop missing. If 
better. But we need to do much better than that. Oh, for God's sake. Finally. That took too much hull. For 23? You're kidding, that could be the death sentence. We're gonna have to invest some of that in more power bars. Uh, I'm not gonna surrender to the slavers. I would buy off you, but fine. The missile launcher isn't working, their weapon is. It looks like it's a fast firing one. They've teleported in. Fine, honestly. Um, I'm gonna take that on. We're gonna use a scythe beam on you. Because you're worthy of it. Also pick the can. Right. Target their shields. Then we target their shields again. And then I'm going to choose to do it this way. Can I get... If I position it better, I can. Full save to wood aboard your ship. Yes. We need... Ignore that plea. I'm a, I'm a, wait, it, it was like none of your crew talk to you anymore. I'm a slug. Isn't that what we do? Dude, like, aren't the slugs meant to be like that? What? I feel like somewhat cheated there. You're a weapons person. I could actually do a weapons person. Or a pepper. Mm. You're a better pilot, but you're a grade A pilot. Okay, well... You're my new weapons person, Rhiannon, and your real name is... This odd guy's name. Uh, your real name is... Von Meester. Right. Shield. Rock hasn't got very good at shields. Okay. And I'm going to save this layout. I'm going to jump again. What have we got this time? You jump, send, at least you know nothing space. Jump B can serve no personal connection. Suddenly the computer robots are weak and coming teleport signal. The internal sensors show nothing of ordinary though. Can you sense any intruder on board? Because I'm a slug. I said, no, apart from usual crew members on board, that you relax, you can pour yourself some replicate coffee with the FTL to charge. Okay, so basically nothing, although that would have been bad. Store, can't really go there, don't need to sell. What I am going to do, though, is I'm going to do this. Hull repair beam thing, whatever. I would like to power it up. Then I'd like to use it on myself. Just a few times. I told you it's useful. I'm not using missiles anyway, so this is basically three heals. I was gonna go to like 16. I'm just gonna go to full, why not? We're so close. One more. There we go. Equipment. Boop. <sighs> Feeling better already. Hello. Jammed. No missile for you, which is nice. Uh, I'm going to activate you. Activate you. And I will activate the... Scythe. Eh. 
and you shut down my weapons. How annoying. Not all of them, though. Just the scythe. But since you can do that, I should start using the flak instead. Ow. That was five shots. I think I'm going to activate the heavy drone. System broken. I've got to repair it. Okay. I need to get more an engine. Come on, get that flak ready. Right. Charge shots to the shield. Flak went down. God damn it. Mmm, that's annoying. Let's get the heavy out. And of course you are on my drone system, which means my drone is going to be pretty useless. Just let him contribute. He just wants to contribute. Fire alarm? Where's the fire? In the drone system. Uh, vent the drone system. Screw it. 45 and 3 fuel, which is a pretty good score. Down a little bit on the drone system. Okay, close. Repressurize the drone system. Repressurizing, 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 repressurizing. Done. Healed. Oh, you're my shield dude these days, aren't you? Yeah. Right. One, two, three. One, two, three. Lead them to the destination. Sure, I will do that. Because I'm a nice person. Oh god. Right in the middle of a major fleet battle, the beacon looks heavy damaged. Uh, the beacon took heavy damage and barely still has its jump circle. A Federation captain contacts you on a secure audio channel. Free asset, you've lost general situation awareness. Or we've lost general situation awareness. Engage targets at your own discretion. Do I go for the fighter? Do I go for the lead cruiser? Do I pick up a weaker support craft? I'm going to go for a fighter. Because I don't know what would happen if I go for the cruiser. It might slow the rebels down. Which is like what some cruiser events do. It's like you kill a cruiser. The enemy is going to slow down because they're going to be more cautious. I don't need them to slow down because we're right next to the exit. I'm going to pick on a fighter. Jam. And we outclass them. They've got two shields. I'm not too worried about this fight. They have got a lot of firepower though. If they keep that up, that could get through us. Uh, they don't have any way to heal. We could do a boarding action. It'd be a human and uh, rock, though. Don't like the sound of that. Let's go all the charge up. Right, all charge is done. Just trying to make sure they're all a bit injured, so if I want to do a boarding action, I can. As you can see, the fighter rests, the squad checks heavy losses to the craft is uh, assembled at the same time by a single well aimed vindicator blast by a nearby Federation cruiser. Great. Right. Stop firing everything but the charge. Who's my best hand-to-hand? -hand? 
Who has any hand to hand? I'm not sending you Bish Tor, you're captaining. Calicrates. Go. Power it up. I'd rather have two points in it before doing a boarding action, but this I'll have to do. Yes. Well done, we've got them on the run for change. We intercept them at Encrypted. Join us up there. They transfer the coordinates to the next engagement after the fleet jumps. Uh, we've got a quest sector. Uh, quest mark on the next sector. Sweet. Okay, guys, jump back. That was pretty cool. Well done. Good, good boarding operation there. Got so much scrap as well. Okay. I would like another bit of uh, uh, engine uh, power when I can do it, but I can get all of my weapons online now. I would like a better weapon, uh, but I can get everything online. And in fact, we can get, if we're not doing drones, everything online. That's not including the fact that we'll lose too power if we do a, uh, a weapon shutdown thing, but hey, I think this is pretty cool. Uh, loadout. It's not, not crazy OP by any means, but it'll do. It'll have to. Several vessels wait in line, prepared to travel close to the Federation calls, undoubtedly fleeing for the flow of impression rebel feet. Aid civilian ship, yes. And we failed to block them. They are going to teleport as well. They don't have any way of healing up. Interesting. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let them teleport to me. I'm going to injure them. They'll teleport back, and then I will take the fight to them. But I have to injure them a lot. Probably kill them. Okay. Sure. You're probably going to come in here next, so I'm going to ready the welcome party. In fact, I'd love to take out your teleport, so you've got no choice. Right. Fire the scrap weapon. Fire it at their... Hmm. O2. Then, fire that. Oh god. Forgot I had to manually close that door. And then, fire at that. Okay, now let's go and take the fight to them. Uh, I would like to make sure everyone's healed before we do this, because this is going to be one of those interesting times. Um, are we all healing? Good. It looks like there's a fire on board. I'm not sure I should board at this rate. Ow! What the hell is that? Whatever that is, it is painful. Right, time to teleport. And we are going to probably want to buff our shields just in case that thing has an issue with shields. Playing it risky. There goes my O2 supply. It can shoot through three levels of shields. But it does look tough. It's pretty big. 68. And they repaired some hull points for us. Thank you very much. Painful. This is where it gets super valuable. I can get four shields.
There we go. It's got the extra level crew teleporter. Now, the reason that level 2 is good, it means that if you've got, I think it is something like if you've got a human and a human fighting, a human and a human, you can teleport in, and you can teleport out before they can kill you. I think. Just. Um, I know it's certainly if you've got a human and a rock, and you're fighting a human and a human, you can teleport out. Uh, but I've never really had to put it to the test. Because I, I never fight human human versus human human. I always fight like human rock. Never really end up with a mantis at the same time as the rock. Uh, well, I do. I never end up with a mantis at the same time as a human and have to do that. I always, if I have a human boarding, it's always with a rock. It's always the way it's just gone for me. I've just rolled that way for some reason. Um, are we still like waiting to fill up on oxygen? Because it seems like this place could do a little bit. Uh, no? Okay, fine. Next sector. Avatar Manufacture Zone or the Eternal Moons. I'm going to go with the Eternal Moons. It sounds tasty. I don't know. It's how I like to roll. Also, Manufacture Zone suggests uh, manufactory ships, which are like AIs, and I can't board them, and I've just done some stuff with boarding. So we're going to see how we roll the Eternal Moons. But I've been Errolissium, and that has been it for this episode. If you enjoyed, please do like, not subscribe. Please consider subscribing, and stay shiny.